Hello everybody, Portrait Coins here, and I just started a box of pennies, I'm probably about three rolls in, and got a couple little things going on, I did get two wheats, a 45 and 46 Philly, so, I mean, that's almost one wheat per roll right around, so this might be a really good box, we shall see. Next roll, and uh, got a 1955 Denver. And I just opened this roll, and it looks like a ton of coppers, which is really good because I can save them all. And just from a couple of rolls, they're all 1970s and got a couple 1980s, so this might be a really big uh, copper box. 1951 Denver. Alright guys, I got a couple more rolls in, and I went to the bank to pick up nickels and half dollars and I started moving all this the pennies to the side so I could start on that and uh, I actually came across some more wheat pennies I opened up uh, two or three more rolls when I was eating uh, there's a 45 Philly in there so that makes two of them a 44 Philly and a 42 Philly and now I'm going to get into some other coins Alrighty, still got some rolls left. Uh, getting a ton of 1970s and 80s. And I got two more wheats. Uh, 52 San Francisco and a 40 San Francisco. And I did get two more San Franciscos over here, 68 and 74. So, San Francisco is, uh, I guess, in this portion of the box. Check this out. This is a San Francisco, but I cannot get the rest of the date. I tried everything. It's a 19... I want to say a 1, but I'm honestly not even positive of that. I'll try and get you a different... See, it kind of looks like a 1, but I honestly do not know. It is a weedy. I think that's the first weed I've ever found where I can't identify it. That stinks. That could have been a really cool, good wheat scent. But nonetheless, at least it's still another wheat. So that makes 10 for the box. A couple more rolls left. Ton of coppers. Absolutely ton of coppers. Did just get another wheat, and it's going to be a 1941 Philadelphia. So that makes 11. 1955 Denver. 1955 Philadelphia. Okay, well here is the wrap up and as you can see I have a ton and ton of coppers. This is probably double the normal amount. These are all the 1980s. Well, 80, 81 and some 82s. These are all the 1970s. A lot of 1970s. These are the 60s and 59s. These are uh, just coins that I found. There must have been a roll dumped of 1986s because there was a ton of them that were toned and in pretty good condition. So I don't know, but there was a bunch of 1986s towards the end. Here are just some um, better 2009s that um, I'll put aside. I only got two Canadians, uh, 97 and an 83. I got, surprisingly, only one 1960. And for San Francisco's, I got 1968, two 68s, 74, a 71, and a 73. And I'll be looking at them for uh, repunched mint marks, double dies, and all that good stuff. These are the 1983s, and I'll be weighing them for the Error 3.1 gram planchet. And we got 13 wheats. 1951 Denver, 55 Denver, 46 Philly, 45 Philly, 44 Philly. A 45 Philly, a 42 Philly, 52 San Francisco, a 40 San Francisco, 
and a 19-something San Francisco. I really wish I could have seen the date on that one. Also, a 41 Philly, 55 Denver, and a 55 Philly. And these two San Fran well, actually all three of these San Francisco's will go over here. And they will go in my San Francisco too. So, very good box. I always like getting San Francisco's and, of course, coppers. Because one day, hopefully, if and when we're allowed to melt these, every single one of these... You know, if you have $100 in these, you might as well just say you have $300. And that's just right now. So, I mean, if copper doubles, you have $100 of these, and you'll have $600. So, it is worth it to me. Um, but that's the box of coppers, and I'll be back if I find any errors or repunch mint marks or anything interesting like that. What's going on everybody? Portrait Coins here, and that was the wrap up for the Penny Box. Tons and tons of coppers, which you all know I like and keep. And I was very happy with that box. It's supposed to rain here in Florida for like the next 10 days or something. So I just went out, it's Saturday, got a couple boxes of pennies, I'll be going through them. And I have a little something special planned for not the next video, but probably the video after that. So keep your eyes open. And I just wanted to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and liking, um, trying to grow this channel. So it means a lot. I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will see you in the next clip. All right. Take care.